So for the past few years, ever since the inception of like this new way of cold email with multi-domain architecture and stuff like that, the top two sending platforms that everybody talks about is instantly.ai and smartly.ai. But over the past few years, there's been a lot of new tools that have really, really been amazing. And I'm using one right now that is literally 10 times faster, cheaper, and just better value, better bang for your buck than any other sending platform I've ever seen. If you don't know who I am, my name's Caduce, I'm 26. I live in New York City and I'm co-founder of Informail. And we sent 10 of millions of cold emails across many of our clients, some that you've heard of like Seamless.ai, Air.ai, Ocean.io, Conversion.ai, and even Aftership.com, which is a billion dollar company. Now look, I love both Instantly and Smartly, Instantly a lot more. It's just the iPhone of cold email, but there's a new one on the block that I've been using and it's called Plus Vibe. And it's the one I personally use to crank 10 to 20,000 emails every single day and it has great deliverability, warm up, and they don't nickel and dime you for every little thing that they offer you. For example, they offer an AI reply agent for completely free that doesn't cost anything to use. It's just part of your subscription. So in this video, I'm gonna go over three simple topics. Number one, I'm gonna show you the exact results I've gotten with Plus5 and how I'm sending 10 to 20,000 emails a day and generating hundreds of interested prospects and leads. Number two, I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of the platform. We're gonna go over how to upload email accounts, how to configure warm up, how to upload your lead list, create your first campaign, create an AI reply agent, and respond to prospects within the platform. And number three, I just want to mention that real quick in the description below is my referral link to Plus Vibe. And if you, you know, find any value in this video, I'd much appreciate it if you signed up using my link. If not, that's okay too. If you just don't like my face and you don't want to use the link, whatever. But if you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe. We're going to have a lot more coming for you guys. In the next video, if you're interested in data, it's going to be about data. So like, subscribe, and Peace out. All right, guys, let's get right into it. I'm going to go over these few pillars here, uploading email accounts, configuring inboxes and warm up, how to import lists, how to create a campaign, how to manage replies. And you basically know how to use the whole platform. And this is an instantly smart lead or alternative. I have been using them for some time now and I have a great relationship with the founder. He does an awesome job. First and foremost, I'm just going to simply show you results that I get with Plus Vibe. So I'm in my Plus Vibe account right now. I'm testing this out with a couple thousand inboxes. And as you could see, I have 99, 100% deliverability, right? So super cool and then the campaigns i'm getting you know over 1500 replies over 300 interested leads uh, barely any bounces and the campaigns do really really well it's super simple to use as you can see 6.2 percent reply rates 3.5 1.6 6.5 3 percent 6.4 2.2, you get the point, the platform is good. So let's go do this quickly. You gotta first upload email accounts. So how do you do that? I'm gonna go get my inboxes from Informail. It's basically the easiest way that I can get unlimited inboxes at one flat price. I use my own inboxes because it's custom. It's built on Microsoft Azure. It has great deliverability and it's just very, very quick. So I'm gonna have all the DNS records set up. I'm gonna generate domains here super quickly. We're just gonna use the keyword plus five for the sake of the video. And I'm just gonna buy five domains, generate the domains, and it's just gonna pick the random names for me and if you want to use inboxes and you want to plug it into a platform this is by far the best platform in my opinion so you could do this right here buy um, we have all the domains here and it's just as simple as that let me pay for this real quick so after I register the domains it automatically does everything for me it's gonna register domains here pretty simple almost done with registering my domains and complete it's gonna add all my domains for me all right, boom, just updated. It's gonna update the name servers right now for the domains that I bought, pretty simple. And by the way, I use this Informail because if you're scaling to like 100, 200 inboxes, what's gonna end up happening is if you use other providers, you're gonna have to pay like three bucks or five bucks for every single one. So if, let's say 100 inboxes, let's say you're gonna send like a modest thousand emails a day to be very safe, right? Each inbox sends 30, 40 emails a day, but we wanna make it 10 cold and the rest warm up. So you're gonna you know, spend at least like 500 bucks a month if you're using a different provider or 300 bucks a month. With this $99 a month, unlimited inboxes at one flat rate, I could put like three, 400 inboxes on here easily, but yeah. Pretty simple. So all the DNS records are getting set up. I'm not really doing much here at all. It's gonna set up SPF, DKIM, DMARC, all that. Now I'm gonna choose my uh, sending platform. It's gonna be plus five. And then boom, uh, DMARC just got completely added. And then I'm gonna generate my inboxes. So you can see right here, I'm gonna put generate inboxes. I'm gonna do like five inboxes per domain. And then I'm just gonna put my first and last name for all of them essentially, and then create all of these inboxes. So I'll have five times five, which is 25 inboxes. So this email ID is gonna be caduce at, caduce m, uh, caduce uh, dot, my last name, caduce.maht, 
and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom here. I'll actually, before that, I'm gonna generate the passwords for the email accounts and then create, and then I'm done. So it's like literally gonna create 25 inboxes for me just like that. And you could do this for literally up to like 250 inboxes, one shot. Just finish the emails. I'm not gonna put any forwarders. I'm just gonna use the plus five unit box. And then I'm also gonna use redirects to make sure that I'm redirecting to uh, whatever website. In this case, I'm gonna do plus five.ai, duplicate for all, and then set that. It's gonna automatically turn warm up on and then I'm gonna get the file. So just like this, this is the most important, the file. Now getting into the plus five tutorial, very simple. We needed the email accounts, we got the email accounts. Now we're gonna add the new accounts that we have. So we're gonna go over here to bulk upload any provider. We're gonna click continue and then we're gonna upload the CSV that we just got from InfoMail. So just my file right there, open, continue. And then just like that, my bulk upload is being processed. I just put 25 inboxes in here. Boom, just like that, 25 inboxes, five total domains. Now the warm-up setting. So we're gonna go into this. You're gonna select and bulk edit all of the stuff. So we already have, um, you know, we're gonna have warm-up enabled pretty here shortly. So you can put enable warm-up, yes, and then it'll just enable the warm-up and then you're gonna put edit settings. And then the sender name and all this stuff's already basically done. The only two things that you need to worry about in this is make sure you don't add a signature so you don't ruin deliverability because if you have links or phone numbers in there, things that are consistent throughout your email, then you're going to mess this up. Um, daily campaign limit, I like to put this at 10 or 12 max. So each inbox is gonna send about 12 emails per inbox. And now the, what people don't get is the warm up is also gonna be, you know, here the, the, the second important metric is the daily warm up limit, which is gonna be 30 emails, for example. Um, so we're gonna ramp up to that. So we're gonna enable this. And so we're gonna start at an initial, you know, sends of like 10, and then we're gonna incrementally increase by like three a day, right? Uh, these are very arbitrary, but the most important thing is that you wanna make sure that the, the warm up sends are much higher than the cold email sends. So I, I send usually 10 cold emails per inbox, then 30 warm up. So that's basically it. You're done with that aspect. That's all you really need to know. Your warm up is enabled. Make sure that the health is very high on these and that's it. If you see about 99, 100% warm up scores, 98%, 98.5%, those are really, really good. So now we're done with how to upload email accounts. I'm gonna cross this out. Now we're gonna go to configuring, configuring inboxes and warm up, which we just did actually. So I'm gonna also cancel this. We configured the inboxes. We put the warm up limit, the daily campaign limit. We uploaded them, we're good. So now how to import lists. So I'm gonna throw in a bonus on a, you know, a really cool unlimited verification tool that I found. So if you wanna verify your emails, again, there's many different verifiers out there, but lifetime deal email verifier, it's called Reun, right? And Reun has one, it's on AppSumo right now. It's $79, I don't know how long this deal is gonna last, but 79 bucks, you could do unlimited email validations. It's not bad at all if you're tight on a budget, but it's very good. Unlimited uh, verifications, what more can you ask for? So whenever you scrape a list from Apollo or wherever else, you're gonna to wanna to put it into Reun. Once it completes the verification, you're just gonna download the safe emails and only send to the safe ones and that's it. Now this area is for uploading lists. So let's say you've you know scraped the list over the course of a week and you don't wanna to send to all of them yet, but you wanna save them within the platform. You're gonna to go to my list, the second icon here. You're gonna add a list here. You're gonna call it whatever, right? And then you're gonna go into import, drop a random file. So like, for example, I have like random leads in here all the time because I'm like sending 10 to 20,000 emails a day. So I just have this right here. Um, so boom, I'm gonna, so as you can see, you just have to map the data to exactly the variable that you wanna use. So for example, if you're in the email, you're gonna put high first name, you wanna put high first name here, you're good to go, super simple. Um, do not import unselected columns. So if it says select an option here, it's gonna just skip that. And then skip leads. So you, so you can also skip leads that exist in other lists that you have, which I don't really usually do because I wanna hit the list again sometimes. So then you import it and then you're good. You name it. So now you can use this list whenever you want in the future. So that's basically it. We're done with step three. So here I'm gonna cross this out. Boom, just like this, how to import list, bonus. Um, I just showed you that Reun verifier. So how to create a campaign, we're gonna jump straight into that. So how to create a campaign, create my first campaign, we're gonna call it X6, it's getting kinda dirty out here. Um, but um, yeah, essentially, you're just gonna wanna create the campaign. Um, very simple, you're gonna import the leads first thing, right? We're just gonna, let's say, use the, uh, the lead list that we just made. Import from lead list. We're gonna select the list, XX, we just made it. And yeah, basically, I just uploaded the list, just like that. So now if you wanna upload uh, you know, the list that you have and you you know, didn't save it to your list, you just import it this way. Same thing, we're gonna go here. We're gonna put do not import because you can't have duplicates, duplicate variables. You map everything, make sure that's all the variables that you're gonna use. You can also verify leads within plus five, but like I said, I showed you Reun. You don't really need to use this. Um, and you can skip leads and lists. You can do that if you want. Do not import uh, unselected columns. Import and then 
we're good to go. Oh, the email is uh, mandatory. So let me just find this real quick email and then import done. So now you know how to upload your list. That's basically done here. So you could see our list is already done. And you can actually see if I refresh it one more time, you can actually see what inbox provider these leads are. So sometimes deliverability has ebbs and flows. Sometimes, you know, right now, a lot of people are not getting into Outlook. I don't know when you're watching this video. Maybe it's not the case in the future. But, um, you know, right now I'm only sending to Google just because it's very easy to land in the inbox. Microsoft and other providers are getting a little bit more difficult. So right here, I just send only to Google, I can filter this out. So if I want to, let's say, you know, filter out Microsoft or other providers, I could just filter it out like that, right? I see all of the Microsoft and other providers now, or I could do only Microsoft if I want, just like that, right? And then I'm going to select all of these leads and then just move them, right? Move all 31 filtered leads to a different campaign. So I'm just going to say, do not send here or whatever, right? So you can just filter them out. Just an example here. So now we're going to go into writing sequences, variables, spin tax, spam checker. So when you write, you know, something simple, you're going to put the subject line here, question uh, for you or a quick question, whatever. Um, let's just say I want to add a variable, right? So I'm going to put hi, and then I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to click first name. And then I'm going to say, I have a beautiful offer for you. Um, do you want this, right? Just an example. So best, we're gonna also use another variable called sender name. And what sender first name does is that when your email accounts have a different name, let's say Jane, Grace, whatever, you can end the email with their first names. So the person is getting an email from Brittany at something.com. It'll say best Brittany and not your name, right? So um, you're just gonna save this pretty simple. If you wanna create a variation of the copy, you just click plus sign over here. It'll copy the exact same message and say, do you want this instead? Then you can A, B test this which is super, super easy. Um, and then you can also add a sequence like this. You can wait one day or two days or whatever, add a step. Um, and then you go here and then say, I'm serious, man, buy this now. Now you add a subject line here, then it will basically create two different emails when you, when the person sees it. So it'll send this one and then it'll have a different, a whole different email for the second one. But if you don't add a subject line, it'll obviously thread these two together and then it'll use the original subject line that you have. I'm serious about this now. So now what I recommend is any single time, so now that you know basically how to write a sequence, you know, the variables, um, spin tax, one uh, interesting aspect of this as well. So spin tax improves deliverability in a lot of different ways, and I'm gonna show you what that is. So you double bracket here, the left side bracket, and then you're gonna put this here, this little uh, absolute value sign, hi, hello, and then morning. So now what this does is that you're gonna be basically tricking um, email service providers because when your email sends out, it's gonna say, hi, John, hello, John, morning, John, and it'll choose randomly between those words, those greetings, and you know it might not be a big deal to you or a big deal to the prospect, they won't even notice, but for email service providers, it's going to look like you sent the, you know, a different email every single time. So as you can see, preview email. And that's also what you want to always do before you send an email out to make sure everything is good. So you can see I have a beautiful offer for you. I rotate it. Morning, Alex. Morning, Andrian. Hello, Saad. Hi, Abdul. Hi, Thomas. And it always keeps changing. Now to check my copy, I'm going to put mail meteor spam checker. Now I put this in spam checker. Boom. Just like this. I take this, delete it. I'm going to copy this, boom. And then now I know, you know, my email is kind of up. So now I got to switch this out. I have a beautiful proposal for you. So instead of using for you, I'm going to say for your company or something like that. Or you could say for your company name, which, which would be like, you know, the, what we'd have to actually add in plus five, but for company name, for example, and then we just have that and you're good to go. You could paste it back in. Now you don't have any spam words. As you can see there, it says great. That's what you want. So pretty simple here, pretty simple stuff. Nothing too crazy. Now we're going to move on to scheduling. So scheduling is basically when you want to send the email, not much exciting stuff here. Monday to Friday, I send the emails. Uh, daily start time, I notice being anywhere from 10 to 11 a.m. is really good. And then it ends at like five or six. Super good. Now the maximum emails per day, you want to make sure that this is set correctly. So we have a daily campaign limit, as you remember, on each inbox, 10, you know, cold emails per inbox. So you can put 12, you can put 15, whatever you want, right? But you're going to take the number of inboxes that you have. So in this case, we have 25 times the number of cold emails you want to send in this campaign per inbox. So I'm going to do 25 times 10. That's 250 emails. So this campaign won't you know send more than 250 emails it's going to get throttled and it will protect my inboxes right you save this schedule you're good to go that's all you need to know now we're going to go into settings and we're going to add the email account so if you put add email account i'm going to check mark everything that i have here add and super simple just like that i'm good to go and then i also prioritize sending to new leads so i'm gonna you know i always want to hit new leads instead of doing follow-ups so i want to hit all my new leads first and then do follow-ups so i prioritize 100 percent new leads because i also notice the initial response is mostly to the first email right rarely to the second so 
Um, you know, so yeah, then it stops sending emails on reply and then open rate tracking, you want this off, um, unsubscribe link, you want this off to make sure that deliverability is good. Send this plain text. Okay, got it, perfect, to make sure that there's no links whatsoever and then you save the settings. Simple as that. Now there's something called subsequences. So a subsequence is basically when someone replies and you have an automated response that you're gonna give every interested prospect, you could throw them in this subsequence. So what this means is that when you know a tag gets replied or a, a reply gets tagged as interested, you can add a subsequence, let's just say interested people, and then you put next, and then it's gonna say add leads if you're marked as interested into this campaign, and you're gonna create a campaign. If they say yes, for example, sure, send this asset or this loom video or whatever over, here's the video, right? Click here to watch. Now we save this email, and you can write whatever you want here, right? And it says overall score here, poor, <laughs> judging me here. Don't judge me. But yeah, save, save all, right? And then you're good to go. So you can schedule this out, works the same way as a regular sequence. Now we're gonna go back to the campaign really quickly. And then you can see your analytics here as well. So during the campaign, actually, you can you know toggle between A and B. So if you have a copy A performing better than copy B, it'll tell you how many positive replies are you know generated by each piece of copy that you wrote. So I usually don't even care who replied. I hear about the positive replies. So then I just, you know, will toggle one of them off and then I'm good to go. So then once you're good to go and you're, you want, you're ready to get live, you just start the campaign and you're good, that's it. So now we learn how to write a sequence, variables, spin tax, uh, spam checker, super simple. We got over scheduling. We also went over the settings and we also went over the subsequences. All right, congrats guys, you already know how to use the platform. Now we're gonna go into the last thing which is managing replies. So here in the unit box, your replies are gonna come in, right? And if you wanna sort, cause you're gonna get a lot of no's, right? You're gonna get a ton of no's and it's gonna annoy you, but that's actually normal. You know, if people got more yeses than no's in life, you know, where would I be? Where would you be? But you're going to get more no's than yeses, right? Um, I digress, but you know, with girls, with business, with whatever, you know, you just need one yes toe to really make it happen, right? One, you know, you get one wife with one yes, you get one, you know, you get rich off of uh, one business with one really big client that says yes. So that's how it works, right? But either way to filter through it, right? You're going to, let's say you have a bunch of emails in here. You want to show only the unread. You check mark this. It'll show you only the unread. If you want to only see the people that are interested, you could check mark here under labels. It'll show you only the interested people. If you want to go based off campaign, let's say you have like five or 10 campaigns running and they all have different call to actions or whatever, you could select by campaign. Pretty simple there. So I'm going to show you with a client that we have really quickly. So for example, Anna here responded interested, right? I'm going to start this for my client, but either way, you, if you want to reply to an email, let's say all these interested ones, right? You're just going to put, Hey, awesome. Thanks you know, Anna, whatever. And then you're gonna just, you know, send her whatever asset you chose to send her. So this is my client right here, but either way, um, yeah, that's it. So now if you want AI to reply, uh, you can also use this at plus five has AI reply agents for completely free, which is awesome. So I'm going to add a new rule here. Let's just say uh, test agent, right? And then we're going to label it only for interested leads. So I want the AI to reply only for interested leads. And then I'm going to go to campaigns, let's say the active one, and then reply from the sender account, of course. And then yeah, the model GT GPT five, and then we're going to put a prompt in. Now, this is a little bit different. I left a doc right here below in the description. So you can actually write your prompt based on what I have. So I literally give you my prompt in that doc that you could copy. It's not going to be applicable to you. But if you copy the fundamentals of that doc, you'll be able to create your own AI reply agent that bangs out that does a really, really good job. So once you, you know, basically write this prompt, you put test this prompt, right? And then sample reply, like from a lead, you put the sample reply in here and you get constant feedback loop, loops. So you can generate a reply and then go back and change the prompt here and then keep, you know, doing a, a fake reply of a potential prospect generating and then keep doing that feedback loop until the prompting is perfect, right? But like I said, I left a doc below, which I'll quickly show you. So this is the doc that you're gonna get in the description below, and I put the actual prompt that I use below here. Um, but you, you're just gonna to wanna to write in this structure for the AI prompting to make, to make it really, really good. You can't just write a bunch of mess in there. You have to contextualize all the information for the AI. If you want to watch the video that I made specifically on creating the AI reply agent, you can click here, and if the link is not there, it's gonna be in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So let's check one more time. So yeah, we just learned how to manage replies, and we also learned how to tag replies and then the AI play agent, which we just finished off on. So if you guys want to sign up to plus five, it is literally super, super affordable to get started. So you can start with $77 a month. You get 150,000 emails included, unlimited email account warm up. Uh, you can have 100,000 active leads in there, AI reply agents for completely free. All this stuff is super, super awesome. Um, yeah, I'd get started on this. Um, if you, you want to get started with something really small, $37 a month. But if you're honestly getting, you know, if you're serious about actually sending cold email and you want to get results, get the business plan. It's really affordable. It's you know more affordable than instantly smart lead and 
most sending platforms and it's like honestly way better as you can see super simple to use you could sign up below using my link in the description if this video has helped at all please like subscribe and if you want to see more uh, videos like this comment below i'm not going to just do a bunch of videos on random tools this is actually tools that i currently use in my high ticket agency and also when i generate leads for my software company so um, i hope you guys enjoyed peace out share with a friend